Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Charu and today we are going to have a brief discussion on components of removable partial denture. So the components of removable partial denture are major connector, minor connector, direct retainer, rest, reciprocal component, indirect retainer, denture base and artificial teeth. The first component, major connector, it connects one side of an arch to that on the opposite side, thus provides unification by acting as one unit. The unification helps in stress distribution by distributing forces between both teeth and the mucosa. It also provides cross arch stabilization which help resist displacement by stresses. Next comes the minor connector. Minor connector serves as a link between major connector or base of removable partial denture to other components of processes such as clasp assembly, indirect retainer, occlusal rest or the cingulum rest. The function is to transfer functional stresses to the abutment teeth. It also helps in transferring the effect of retainers, rests, stabilizing component throughout the prosthesis. Next comes the rest. Rest provides vertical support to the denture and by providing this vertical support, it maintains the components in their planned position and direct occlusal load to the long axis of the abutment teeth. It also prevents impingement of the soft tissue and maintains occlusal relationship. Next comes the direct retainer. It is a unit of partial denture that engages an abutment teeth and resists displacement of the prosthesis away from the basal seed. There are two types of direct retainer, extracoronal and intracoronal. In extracoronal, the clasp type retainer is most commonly used. Let's discuss briefly about the clasp assembly. Clasp assembly consists of rest, the minor connector and the clasp arm. The clasp arm are retentive arm and reciprocal arm. The reciprocal arm is rigid and is placed above the height of contour opposite the retentive clasp. Whereas the retentive clasp lies cervical to the height of contour. Next comes the indirect retainer. Indirect retainer is a part of RPD which assists the direct retainer in preventing the displacement of distal extension bases. As you can see in the picture, here Kennedy's class 1 and Kennedy's class 2 distal extension denture bases are shown. The indirect retainer usually takes the form of rest and is on the opposite side of fulcrum line. The fulcrum line is an imaginary line around which RPD tends to rotate. Thus, to prevent this rotational displacement, indirect retainers are placed. Thanks for watching and have a good day.